All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Mushoku Tensai episode 16. I don't have anything to say before the start of the episode, but as always, guys, I like the video if you like the video and subscribe for the channel if you are new. And let's get right into this episode right now. Where are we at? Where are we at today, then? Hey, me and the boys. Plus one extra now. Whoa. That place looks crazy. Oh, she wants to be able to cook nice things for Rudy, maybe. <laughs> it's the fact that he knows what she's thinking. That's hilarious. Oh, I thought we were going to have more time with this guy. God damn it. Yeah, this city definitely looks a lot fancier than the last one we were in. Even got like waterways and shit. Holy crap. Oh, what, what can you expect from a holy city? Oh, Hachu! <laughs> Everybody clap. A year and a half, man. Oh my god. Yeah, this seems like a good place to earn money. Seems like they have money, you know? Oh, okay. This might work. Yeah, it's, it's hopeful, but it might work. That would be helpful, yeah, that you can actually let them know that you're all good. Yeah, wherever they may be, like, apparently they've been sent somewhere too. Oh god. Dude's been watching too much anime. Well, careful. Goblins are... goblins. I really need a check-in as to what's, what's going on with Rudy's family right now. Yeah, jeez. Big business. Never abandon a child. No. Absolutely never abandon a child. Yeah. Why are they giving him, like, food and shit? This doesn't look like a normal kidnapping. Oh god, what is this? Why are you holding on the way? <laughs> Rudy, you're such a dumbass. Oh my god, Rudy. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? <laughs> he just rubbed his name in the dirt. Who is this kid? Why is she dressed like that? <laughs> oh no, they belong to her. Rudy, you are a sick, sick person. Who's this, then? I, I don't think he's just some drunk. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> he's goddamn drunk. I can't actually see. This is annoying. Who is this? It looks like... Is it Paul? Oh. Oh, it is Paul. Of course he has like someone like that on his team. Why does he look so fucked up? What is wrong with him? Some shit has happened with these guys, and Rudy's not even aware of it. I'll leave out the man god. <laughs> Paul is... not with this conversation. What has happened to Paul in this time? I'm, I'm not... I'm not enjoying this at all. Has something happened to his family? Paul, you need to relax, bro. He was focused on keeping himself alive. What has gone on with Paul that he's in this goddamn attitude, man? I don't like where this is going. Oh, 
Oh shit, Rudy. Paul, you need to stop chatting shit, and Rudy, you need to let him speak because something's happened here. Who the hell is this? Oh? Oh shit! His little sister. Oh, Rudy, man. Oh, please, no. Where is his mum? Oh, no. Oh, I see. So that was one of the people that got teleported then. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, alright. I can see where Paul's coming from. I mean, Rudy had to keep himself alive, but... Ugh, I he, he really kind of should have thought about this. I mean, I never thought about it, but like... Oh, I don't know, Rudy's the one in this situation. Oh yeah, a lot. Eris, wait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be in that way. Just listen to what he has to say, or give him a hug or something, I don't know. <laughs> Eris is so awkward, I love it. Aww. I like that she's so much bigger than Rudy. Alright, so that was episode 16 of Mishoku Tensai. Um, so that felt like a really quick episode, but obviously it was of the same normal length as usual. Um, crazy to see the Pauls here in this city. Um, I don't even know why I didn't consider the possibility that it wasn't just these guys that were teleported, like within that kind of area. It turns out it kind of extended to a much larger area. Um, so his family's missing. Luckily, you know, his, you know, his sister, his kind of biological sister, uh, well, his proper sister, the, he's got two biological sisters, but, you know, his proper sister, you get what I mean. Um, he, he, what looks like was she was teleported with Paul, possibly, or she was, you know, found by Paul fairly soon after. Who knows? I don't know. Um, so at least she's okay. Paul is clearly have gone through it, and I completely understand how he's gotten to this point. Um, he's obviously spent the, the last year and a half looking for his family, looking for his friends, looking for anyone that he can. Um, so that, that respect to him for that. Um, I don't think this is Rudy's fault. You know, what, what Paul was saying, it's, it, 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 it's a really hard situation, definitely a hard situation to be in because he was just trying to keep himself alive. And then along the lines, you know, of keeping him alive, keeping Edis alive, trying to get back home. It's just clearly kind of left his mind to consider maybe that he wasn't just the only one to have been teleported, which it sucks when now that he has to realize this. It really does, but it's something he's going to have to deal with now. And hopefully along the way, he can be of some help to kind of this group maybe, or, you know, he can kind of, I'm sure Edis won't mind if he kind of takes a detour in a sense, to kind of go like go off and help people and find people. Obviously, I want to go and help his family, find them. Um, obviously, I want to try and help find Sylvie as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely looking forward to the, the other episodes now and excited to see what happens next week. Uh, but yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.